okay students you can start asking your doubts about the paper uh, this is paper one and uh, this session is mainly for the discussion of the paper so can i start asking now the very first question is of uh, inorganic only this is based on the hydrolysis of xenon f6 okay any doubt in this question okay. you can uh, frankly ask your doubts okay <clears throat> any doubt in this question uh, shall i discuss it or we can move to the next question okay uh, next question is a uh, question number uh, yes in the uh, more than one correct options question number 30 any doubt in this case this is also fine uh, students uh, please reply because uh, uh, whether we have to stick to the question or not that is only based upon your replies sir d option uh, d option okay fine uh, no2 and S, uh, clo2 both are sp2 hybridized see in case of no2 we are having the odd electron and that odd electron participates in hybridization in this particular case because the bond angle is greater than 120 degree it is uh, not near to 180 degree it is approximately 135 degree so uh, the bond angle is close to 120 degree that is also the implication that this free electron or we can say the unpaired electron is participating in hybridization okay when that unpaired electron participates uh, in hybridization uh, whenever there is a a less electronegative central atom and more electronegative surrounding atom. In that situation, uh, this can happen that uh, unpaired electron also participates in hybridization. In case of ClO2, uh, that lone pair is in hybridization, but again, this is also odd electron species. So this electron is not in hybridization. It is not in hybridization. So we do not count it in the hybridization. Therefore, this is also sp2 hybridized. So this is the case which we have to remember. Actually, there are certain cases also like ClO3. ClO3 is also odd electron species. In this situation, we count this odd electron into hybridization. Like we have a CF3 free radical. CF3 free radical is also pyramidal. It is also sp3 hybridized. So uh, this ClO2 is the case in which odd electron is not in the hybridization. But in case of ClO3, in case of NO2, in case of CF3, the odd electron are participating in hybridization also because the surrounding atom are more electronegative. Although in ClO2 also the surrounding electron surrounding atoms are more electronegative, but it is coming like a general case. So uh, in the case in which we have simple free electrons like CS3, we do not count them in hybridization like CH3 free radical is sp2, but CF3 is the sp3. Uh, so ClO3 and NO2 odd electrons are in hybridization, but in ClO2 odd electron is not in hybridization. Okay, these cases we have to actually remember like exceptions of hybridization where, where we count single electron hybridization or not. Sir, can you once repeat that statement you said for participation of odd electron hybridization? Uh, in case uh, participation of odd electron, whenever the surrounding atom is more electronegative than the central atom, there is a possibility of increase in percentage s character of the uh, orbital of free radical. Okay, sir. okay. So there will be increase in the percentage s character due to presence of more electronegative. You can also use the statement of Bent's rule if you have studied. By Bent's rule, we can explain the percentage s character increment in the orbital of free electron. Okay. Fine. Any other doubt related to this question? Fine. Okay. Shall we proceed to the next question? Okay. This is uh, the end of paper one in organic chemistry part. Let us come to the paper two. And the very first question, question number 20. Any doubt here? Sir, do we have any golden yellow gas in our theory? Uh, golden yellow gas is just a yellow gas which forms uh, because of the oxidation of HCl that is Cl2. 
uh, we can say that uh, it is yellow gas or greenish yellow or golden yellow that is a hint that it is actually a yellow gas so as such no specified form of cl2 is written over here like golden yellow sometime it has been written only yellow or greenish yellow also. Yes, this is our next question again that is uh, based on the reactions of chromium only so both papers are having that uh, question based on the chromium and its reactions any doubt here the simple comprehension i think no doubt little bit uh, easy easier questions in uh, in organic chemistry in this paper comparatively so again uh, Uh, no more inorganic questions are present here. So, any other doubt you have? Uh, Prasad, sir, uh, uh, I am completed with the part of this discussion of the paper. Uh, so, uh, can I continue with some questionary portion or just this is the class dedicated discussion only? No, sir. Uh, you can continue, sir. Some uh... Okay. Fine. Uh, some other questions. Okay. Thank you, sir. Actually, remaining faculty members uh, asked to uh, start their discussion tomorrow morning, uh, eight o'clock. Uh, only okay. your class. That's why you can. Okay. Okay. Problem. Fine. So, students, uh, we can have some other problem-solving portions or whatever you want. Whether you want to revise the concepts like we did did in the previous sessions. So, if you have any doubt, you can ask. Some questions we can solve if you are interested. B options. Any other answers? Uh, see, uh, there are some clear cut uh, problems here. Like uh, we have given with format ion HCWO minus. Uh, it is given K2CO3, uh, H2O32 minus. Thiosulfate, sulfide. Okay. So you have to just uh, match singly with them. And you can mention your answers. Some of the students have replied the answers. You can also write your answers in the chat box. Whatever you feel like. Sir, R parts. R part reduces. Uh, this is uh, like your felling solution or benedict solution. Because it is the tartrate which is complex with the copper, right? The formula is of the tartrate. That means it is indicating your felling solution or benedict solution to red precipitate. Here we are having an exceptional part of HCOOH, formic acid, that can give the felling test positive. Okay. So HCO minus is the anion which can be reduced to uh, reduces, which can uh, reduce. Uh, this compound to the red precipitate. Fine. Yes. See, let us move to the next question. Okay, now anybody is getting the answer? Yes. A option. Yes. A is correct answer. Okay. Anybody needs explanation? Everyone is getting answer A. Anything which is required here? I think it is an easy question because the options are also given uh, like ammonium nitrate and ammonium nitrate on heating. We are having a gas which doesn't support combustion. Okay. I think it is an easier portion. Anybody is having doubt? Please ask. Okay, fine. Let's move to the next question. Sir, nitrate reduces to ammonia. Yes. Is it always or this is special reaction? Uh, whether it is nitrite or nitrate, in presence of uh, zinc, KOH, aluminum, KOH, they are because they are strong reducing agents, therefore, always we get ammonia. So the portion is also indicating that it is a gas. So uh, we can stick to the ammonia over here if zinc KOH is present or aluminum KOH is present. It reduces to its lowest oxidation state. 
ओके सो कंफ्यूजन पार्ट इज एक्चुअली नॉट देयर बिकॉज व्हेन वी आर हैविंग द वाई गैस एंड अगेन द वाई गैस इज कमिंग सो दैट इज आल्सो बैलेंसिंग दैट पोर्शन एंड ऑल्दो ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज अमोनिया गैस फॉर्म्स व्हेन एवर नाइट्राइट और नाइट्रेट इज रिएक्टेड इन दिस मैनर लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन such type of question has also came in in your exam friends option d is yes very clear cut question answer is option d anyone is having any doubt sir alkaline h2 to can oxidize cr plus 3 yes this is the case uh, alkaline h2o2 and in case of acidified h2o2 the reaction is coming backward it is forming a cycle okay that is the behavior of acidified uh, h2o2 and alkaline h2o2 the difference in this situation only not in all situations in this situation okay so here is a paragraph we can attempt this dbc sir uh, let me check okay uh, you are getting answer b d and c d b and c d b and c okay uh, i am having the answers b uh, d and c okay so what hint uh, we can have see this type of question actually comes from the uh, reactions of mercury as we can see and also that question number 6 is giving us a hint that it is use uh, the compound p which has been formed upon the strongly heating of this compound m is used in the photography it is used in analytical chemistry okay so uh, from photography we can recall that whether we are talking about agbr or thiosulfate fine so uh, by the pattern of this uh, reaction uh, we can see that this compound can be that uh, hydrated salt can be of the uh, thiosulfate okay s2o3 2 minus na so it is the anion uh, which we can have like we can form a colorless hydrated salt of it uh, like na2s2o3 and dot 5 H2O such type of hydrated salt it can be there when we uh, heat it strongly uh, that there will be a heating effect of the Na2H2O3 it will give us first of all that water of crystallization will remove about 220 degrees centigrade that water of crystallization will remove further heating will give us Na2H2O3 will give us Na2S5 and Na2SO4. Okay, so that portion in which mercury nitrate is forming the precipitate are uh, that is the sulfate, the sulfate portion we can take. So in this situation we can form either HgSO4 or the hydrated form of HgO HgSO4. which is actually yellow in color that uh, we can consider the aqueous solution of mercury nitrate okay so this is the sequence and when we will react with thiosulfate with the uh, hgcl2 it will again form hgh2o3 which upon warming give us black precipitate hgs okay in this situation we will be having this uh, problem solving portion 
in excess of m solution when we are having excess of m solution the complex will form with mercury okay that will be a colorless solution on dilute hcl thiosulfide will give us the sulfur as a white turbidity upon prolonged heating with the hno3 the solution will become again clear okay so this is the overall reaction the color of the compound r is actually yellow the structure of compound p is zigzag chain because it is s5 2 minus so s5 2 minus will be like this so this is a zigzag structure and the structure of compound p is again uh, in thio uh, as a thio sulfide it is used in photography to remove excess of agbr it is used in analytical chemistry as a hypo solution okay it is also dehydrating agent because it uh, it is taking the water of crystallization when it is anhydrous okay it can uh, act as oxidizing as well as reducing agent so uh, what statements are actually uh, correct in this situation of uh, question 6 so it is used in photography analytical chemistry uh, basically it is hygroscopic in nature we can say not actually dehydrating agent okay so these two statements are correct any doubt here any problem in this portion how we came to the conclusion that we are having a thiosulfide that is fine <clears throat> whoever replied the answers please is there any doubt here in this situation no sir okay let us try one more question sir b c c c uh you are having answers seventh is as b then uh, c ninth as c tenth as c okay uh, the answer of tenth is a students please check this question okay uh, so here is a hint to solve this question that this is c is a colorless compound which upon uh, dilute hcl gives h2s gas okay and upon naoh we are forming two compounds na2s uh, like compound like sulfide like compound maybe this yellow solid is a s8 structure or sulfur this uh, gives disproportionation reaction with naoh okay so if we take it as a s8 compound upon naoh again it will give us na2s2o3 and na2s okay so from na2s we will be having the h2s gas and both of these anion do not form precipitates with the calcium both are actually soluble part okay again when we uh, react this dilute hcl compound Uh, Na two S two three reaction dilute HCl. It again gives sulfur, yellow colored uh, colloidal solution. Or finally, it will convert into S eight. We can call it as sulfur. Okay, and uh, with Na two S two O three, we can react Fe plus three ion to form a violet color complex. Fe S two O three minus. Okay. so here are the uh, discussion part for that the structure of compound a is crown shaped the compound b on heating produces compound which has or have so we are having actually two compounds na2s2o3 and na2 na2s on heating of compound b okay on heating of compound uh, b we will be having na2s5 again na2s4 that we discussed in the previous question na2s2o3 upon heating it will give na2s5 and na2s4 
So one will be having again a zigzag structure that we can call it as a chain structure. Okay. Na two S five and tetrahedral structure is of the sulfate. Again, uh, gas D can be now easily identified. So question number nine is here. In question number ten, the compound will be giving NiEN whole thrice. S two O three precipitate only. So this is a violet color complex. Okay, this violet color complex is actually optically active because it is having EN as a ligand. Three EN ligand will form a uh, octahedral geometry in which it will be op optically active. Fine. So linkage isomer will not be the answer. Answer will be optical isomer only. Fine. With Prakash, it is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, let us move to the uh, next question. This is uh, we are considering as the last question for today's discussion. Try this question. So what is twelfth question about? Uh, yes. Twelfth question is about what? Yes, our uh, twelfth question. I think it is uh, having a incomplete portion. Let me check. A lot of the following options is correct. Let me check. First is name of compound E. Okay, the question number twelve is actually color of the solution. Obtain when ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate reacts with acidic solution of B. This is the complete question. Options are here. A, C, D, sir. Uh, answers are A. Here answer is D. And here answer is B. Okay. This uh, black solid is actually MnO2. KOH in presence of air, it will form A2MNO4. In presence of H2SO4, it will convert into KMNO4 and MNO2 only. Okay. So this sequence is like this. Now you can check KI on the uh, reaction with alkaline solution of B changes into a compound. D. So it will be an oxidation reaction for, uh, of Ki with KMnO4. It will give us KiO3. Next, the colored compound, color of the compound B, this appears on the treatment with the acidic solution of FeSO4. Okay, fine. We have uh, determined B as KMnO4 only. With cold concentrated SO4, compound B gives E. Which being explosive decomposes to yield Y, uh, yield F and oxygen. Okay. So with con cold concentrated uh, H2SO4, compound B gives E. So concentrated H2SO4 in the cold condition, compound B is a uh, chemno4 only. So we are having an explosive compound Mn2O7, which can readily give us MnO2 and oxygen only. Upon heating, Mn2O7 will give us MnO2 and O2. You can balance this reaction. Okay, fine. These are the questions. So, nature of the compound E is so compound E is Mn2O7. Its nature is acidic. Okay, color of the solution obtained: ferrous sulfate reaction, acidic solution of B. 
So ferrous sulfate will convert into ferric Fe two SO four whole thrice, and its color will be yellow. So there will also be Mn plus two. Uh, oh, no. Yes. Okay, no. yes, sir. Okay. The type of hybridization in compound D K I O three. It is SP three. Okay. Any other doubt in this case? Okay. So, guys, we can end up here today's session, and rest of the questions of this assignment we will discuss in the next our next uh, discussion part, a special class.